Hi guys, Beverly here with Get Nail Nail Art. Um, I've been away for a while, but um, I'm back now, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, I'm bringing you summer daisies today, so here we go. Basically, we start off with your regular nail, like I always do. And I started with um, half of a white tip, like just up near the smile line, that's about it. Um, and then I used this cute little mix um, that I made myself. Um, actually, I got this at Walmart. It comes in a pack of like four or five in the nail aisle. It's just in cute little tubes. It's like a um, different glitters and stuff like that in the tubes. It's like four bucks, five bucks, something like that. And um, I just, this is my favorite one. So I just mix some clear acrylic with that. Um, and then you cover it with clear acrylic once you're done. And basically file it and buff it and you end up with something about like this um, then I'm gonna start with the vines and leaves of course you layer it and I'm just using the Martha Stewart paints um just to let you guys know they are really awesome paints they're rich they're thick so you can water them down a little bit and make them as runny as you want and the color, the coverage is like awesome because they're so pigmented. Uh, I just wanted to add that in there because I used to use folk art, but now every paint that I own is Martha Stewart. Um, I didn't throw my folk art out though. I still keep it around. Um, and then I'm doing some leaves. Basically, I'm using a number two brush and I push the brush in and pull it up. So it's just push and pull, push and pull. And then I added just a little spot of lighter green in the middle of the leaves to give them some dimension. And just to let you know, when you use acrylic paint, um, it really looks crappy sometimes on the nail. But once you put that clear polish over top of it to seal it in, everything blends together and everything looks nice and smooth. But it may look sometimes like rough and... and um, like it's not blending together too well on the actual nail but trust me once you put the clear coat on it'll blend just fine and basically I'm doing the daisies the same way as the leaves you push and pull push and pull and I'm still using my number two round brush and you just basically make a little circle and this one I'll make a half circle because it's going to be behind the other daisy. And I wanted to let you guys know too, watch out for my next videos. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So um, I, I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but I'm back now. Um, and then I'm just taking some, it's called Salmon, it's the color Salmon, um, one of Martha Stewart's paints, and it's a really pretty, like, um, pastel orangey color, um, and I'm just going almost to the edges of the daisy, but I'm leaving some of the white, so I'm not totally covering the white. And then I'm using just a kind of a muted pink um, in the center of it. And I'm not going all the way to the edges of the orange. I'm going to do the pink just like I did the orange to the white. But I'm doing um, just on the center, if that makes sense. So you don't take it all the way to the edges of the orange. And just little spots here and there. Like if you look, it doesn't really look that good on the nail. But once you put the clear coat on, um, it blends so just beautifully. Um, now I'm just doing a dab of yellow on each of the centers. And then I'm going back with a dot of pink in the middle of the... Um, yellow just like some dots I'm putting dots in 
it's a darker pink. Um, you could use brown. Same, you know, brown would probably look just as good. And then I'm just adding some um, glitter here and there. And that's, um, I'm using the Reflections or Recollections glitter. Sorry. And then I'm dusting everything off. And then you clear cut it. And if you see, like, the colors just blend together so much better. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'm sorry I was gone, but watch out for my next videos. I'm back.